We met on a quiet little street corner in Reykjavik. Two strangers with cameras on our hips and no idea that we'd become best friends. In what feels like the blink of an eye, 12 years have passed. Over a decade of exploring the world has led us to this place. This lush paradise is where Justin was born and raised. I can't believe it's taken me so long to come to Ecuador, to breathe in the smell of his home and be in the same room with people I've considered family for years. I expected to be overwhelmed with the sunny mountains, jungles, oceans, and impossibly fresh food, but I wasn't prepared for a place so new and foreign to feel so familiar, like reuniting with a long lost love. The story of this trip is not a perfect fairy tale. I am pretty sure I'm gonna need to go to a hospital. But I've never felt so welcomed and safe as I did traveling alongside my best friend and his family in the country that they call home. I cannot believe how much energy I have right now because the altitude is definitely getting to me a little bit. Flying into Quito ended up being a lot nicer of a flight than I thought it was going to be. It was given us gorgeous clouds and a beautiful sunset. So the flight ended up being extra beautiful. Then we land and I'm just about to jump out of my skin because I'm so excited to meet <laughs> Justin's mom for the first time. <laughs> Then we went to Justin's grandma's house and I found out all kinds of new things about Justin. Because as it happens, Justin doesn't tell me freaking anything about him. So Justin is a secret artist. You didn't know I was a painter? No. Yeah, I used to paint before I did photos. What? I can't believe it. Little baby Justin. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> this is an omita. It's like a tamale-ish type thing here in Ecuador. What is the biggest difference between this and a tamale? I'm not sure what the difference is. Is it sweeter than a tamale? Like by a little bit? It's really good. Road trip. How long is a long time that y'all haven't been here? I mean, for years. Years. Maybe a decade. Oh, how cute. <gasps> llamas. Wait, alpacas. Wait, what are those? <laughs> llamas. This is beautiful. <gasps> key. A key. Hi, friend. Oh, good stretch. Can I pet you? Hi. Oh, he's so pretty. This restaurant is called Puerto Lago, and you get to sit right next to the lake, and there are all these little duckies splishing and splashing, and I will be endlessly entertained by this. They're so cute. I love it here. I love Ecuador. So in Ecuador, we don't really have salsa. We have ají, and there's different types of ajis. It's like a mild hot sauce. Justin ordered jugo de guanabara. Guanabara. <laughs> It's, it's very different, yeah. It's a little melony. I like it though. This empanada is actually made out of a crust of quinoa. And what's in the middle of it? What is cheese? It's got cheese in the middle of it. I have the trout in a garlic sauce. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> We're gonna go be buddies with the llamas. <laughs> They're so cute. Wait, they actually spit at you? Hey, don't spit at me. So when they put their ears back, that means that they can still spit. Okay. These guys are not very friendly llamas. No. Males are usually much nicer. Okay, so let's go find a boy. <laughs> Hello, I heard a rumor you might be nicer. You living your best life? <laughs> you, ma'am, have a good life. This is an avocado tree? It's an avocado tree. It's huge! It's 
Look how cute. You see one, two, and three right on there. How do you get right the ones there. up there? Do I you have, have a, a, I have a stick? stick? I don't know what I was picturing when you said you had avocados. You see this one's super shiny? Uh-huh. That shiny? means it's not ready. Okay. So the, all that the shininess has to go away. They're still hard and then a couple in a few days they'll be ready to eat. Every little flower becomes like an avocado. You see that? Uh-huh. This one is in rehab. Look, that's huge. What is that? Blackberry. A, a blackberry. This is a blackberry? Mm, they're so good. That's... Look at all this lettuce. You cut the leaves and you just make your salad. These are all little baby grapes. Yeah. Aww. Ooh, time. Oh, that's so fresh. This smells amazing. <sighs> wow. They release at night, right? That's so nice. They release at night. I am beyond thrilled to be here. Everywhere I look, I keep almost bursting into tears <laughs> because it is so beautiful and I feel so at home and your family is heavenly and I'm in heaven. <laughs> smells so good. These are sour cream and onion plantain chips. That's really good. Oh, that's good. This morning we're going horseback riding at the Hacienda Zuleta, which smells like eucalyptus. You get out of the car and the smell just hits your face. It's beautiful. When I was an itty bitty kid, I did a horseback riding expedition like this in Brazil. And during the expedition, my horse freaked out and ran away and then threw me. I got really scratched up. I didn't get seriously injured, but I was terrified of horses for a really long time after that happened. And then eventually I mended my relationship with horses. I am really happy to be back on a horse again. It is so beautiful out here. This is easily the most gorgeous poncho I've ever had the pleasure of wearing. You've told me what these are called three times and I've already forgotten. Tolas. Tolas. These are tolas. They're man-made. Some of them are tombs. Some of them are for rituals. They're from the pre-Hispanic era. Oh, this terrain is getting exciting. <laughs> I'm always the one to lose things, but this trip, it's Justin. <laughs> so far, Justin has dropped three things. The third one being my GoPro. We're going back, we're gonna go look for a GoPro. <laughs> Donde esta el GoPro? <laughs> hey, we found it. If I give this back to you, will you take care of it? Yes. I'm rolling my eyes, but I've done this as many times as Justin, if not way more. The horses know we're on our way back and they're in a hurry. <laughs> Yeah, bub, that's gonna be me in a minute. <laughs> Justin's mom was explaining to me that the Hacienda Zuleta is one of the more famous haciendas. We are going to have a really nice meal. It's gorgeous. We have our own suite all to ourselves to eat. Did you see the TV nook? Yeah, there's a place where you can oh sit God. and watch TV. Can we, can we move? <laughs> I know this is Don Galo. This is the specialty, like it's the name of the owner of the Hacienda. The so it's the classic Don cheese. Galo. What was the name of the soup again? Sancocho. He goes on everything, so you just take a, like, how much? Just like a, That's a little drizzle. Spoon. A little drizzle? Okay. This is the perfect food for a rainy day. Si. It's so cozy. And this is watermelon juice. That's so good. It tastes just like when my mom makes it. Cheers. <laughs> it's like citrusy. It is citrusy. That's really good. Happy birthday, Justin! Wow. My goodness! Happy birthday to you! This is how you blow candles in COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. This dog is so pampered. Do you want your belly scratched? Oh my goodness. The meal we just had is truly farm to table. They grow a lot of the food that they serve right here. They have 21 beehives. <gasps> they have their own beehives. Look at the size of these. Is this cabbage? Yes. <laughs> it's huge. This is a fruit? Yeah, open yes. it. 
What? <laughs> it's a golden berry. What does that remind me of? Oh, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> Yes, I'm in a bathing suit and earmuffs. I'm about to get into a hot tub. <laughs> it's chilly out here. We're collecting a little fresh jasmine to put the blooms into the hot tubs. <laughs> and I don't know if it's gonna make them smell good, but it'll make them really pretty. I'm never getting out. I'm never getting out. Can you bring me the camera? If I lived here, I'd be out here every single day. Like in the morning and then at night. <laughs> Just every day. Good morning. I feel like I'm living in a fairy tale. Waking up to this garden and these views, sunrise over the mountains, I feel like I'm living in a dream. <laughs> this morning the plan is to hike Quicocha, which is a crater lake. It is supposedly a really challenging hike and it's day three of being in Ecuador. So I'm hoping that this time here has acclimated me to the altitude a little bit because the hike will be at over 10,000 feet and I've had a little bit of a headache ever since I got here. So I'm definitely feeling the altitude more than Justin is, but he grew up here. It's a challenging hike, but it's beautiful no matter how much of the hike you do. So we could potentially do part of the hike and then turn around and come back if I'm not feeling great. But I'm hoping that I can stick it out for the whole thing. I'm testing out my brand new backpack. My old backpack ended up being carried by Justin most of the time when we hiked together. So I definitely don't want a repeat of that. Every time I visit we always come here there's an amazing five hour hike all the way around. I'm doing pretty well. I'm a little out of breath but we all know that's normal for me. This trail is perfect for me because just when you've started going uphill and you're starting to really feel it you're going downhill again. So it's a very friendly trail. Let's you rest. I was really worried about clearing the altitude because I had a cousin who got really sick when she came to visit us but I'm not worried anymore. We're gonna be just fine. This is a very special moment because we've never seen the Cotopaxi from here. The day is gorgeous. Along the path are two little huts and we've just made it to the second one. We're gonna take a little lunch break and have a snack. Quicocha has a, a thing about making you feel like somebody has thrown flowers all through the path just for you. I love the flowers. It's very windy. It's like gusting, kind of like swirling around. So we're gonna see if it dies down for like two seconds, fly the drone up and down, and that's it. Claire went over to the field right over there just to test it out, because if it drops somewhere there, we're gonna be able to reach it. Because if it drops over there, it's over the cliff. Drone's in the air. It's really kind of struggling up there. I'm just worried about losing gear on this trip. It's freaking out. <laughs> this wind is something else. Have you ever found yourself wondering how Justin walks so fast? Well, look at Justin's mom. We are many miles into this and she hasn't even broken a sweat. She is a foot shorter than me. <laughs> Apparently when Justin was a kid, they'd take these little yellow flowers. They're like a little balloon. They'd pop them on your forehead. And that was the cool thing to do. I mean, there were no phones. <laughs> We did it. We did it. We just did seven miles in four hours and 50 minutes. And uh, I'm really proud of us for that. I was thinking it would take us more than six. I'm definitely feeling the dry air. My nose is getting a little raw, so I just put a little bit of Vaseline. It feels 
very good. The lake that we just walked around is called Kuikocha, and Kocha means lake in Quechua, and Kui means guinea pig in Quechua, and that little island in the middle of the lake looks a bit like a guinea pig, and I find that just adorable. <laughs> All right, we're on a full-on shopping expedition. We got eggs, we're getting bread, we're getting snacks. So this plate is $2.50. Is it ornado? It's very traditional and you eat it with hominy. What is hominy? This is this is hominy. You've never had it? Ah, I'm not sure how to even describe what it that is. It is corn. It is corn, but it's a different type of corn. Yeah, it, it tastes it has a similar flavor to corn but a different texture and yeah. it's quite good. Wow, this is a lot of food. Oh <laughs> yes. After that hike today, I am starving. And this is the perfect meal for a post hike. It's like very hearty and comforting. These are fast food. It seems healthier than our fast food. Mm. I'm happy. Oy, que lindas. Oy, que preciosa. Thank you. starting to get infected by this place. Whenever Justin comes here, he immediately goes into vacation mode and does nothing for weeks on end. And I never could understand that because it's so beautiful here and there's so much to do. But we've been here for four days now <laughs> and I'm starting to understand. <laughs> when you are somewhere this beautiful and this relaxing, you kind of just slow down a little bit. We have coffee this morning and then Justin's mom made a yogurt this is made out of raspberries from the garden it is so fresh so delicious what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to have your yogurt with this uh, yucca bread is that what it's called yucca bread yucca, yucca bread which reminds me a lot of uh, pão de queijo from Brazil it's crispy on the outside a little cheesy on the inside in my coffee. No sir, dude. Not okay. Not okay. So when I shop, I like to buy neutrals because they go with everything. The problem with only buying neutrals is that you end up looking like this. In the days leading up to our trip to Ecuador, Ecuador was shut down. There was a lot of protesting happening and the protesters were able to basically cut off the entire country. For 18 days. In that time, Justin and I decided that we needed to cancel this trip. We asked for refunds on flights, we canceled hotels, we shut down everything. <laughs> but then the protesters got uh, pretty much what they wanted and then the country went back to normal. So we quickly, at the very last minute, reversed that decision and decided to come here. But what that means is that Justin and I are both left with a pretty expensive flight to the Galapagos that is in weird limbo. So we are on our way to a travel agent to see if we can get some help fixing this ticket and just making sure that we can get to the Galapagos for a reasonable price because my ticket was refundable. And then when I requested a refund for my ticket, they said no. I don't know, it's complicated. We've called Avianca a bunch of times and we can't get a person on the phone. It's 
a whole thing. Yeah, we leave next week, so we gotta figure this out. The travel agent was not able to help us, but she was able to give us some good information. So I'll go ahead and share this information with you guys, just in case any of you ever consider traveling Avianca. <laughs> the travel agent says that they can never get Avianca on the phone either. They weren't able to help us, but they were able to let us know that Avianca has a person at the airport all the time, so we can go to the airport tomorrow and talk to somebody at the physical airport. It's a bit complicated and a little frustrating, but I'm so happy to be here. I'm so grateful that we were able to come here at all that I'll put up with whatever nonsense we have to deal with in order to get this figured out. <laughs> Kitty didn't want to say hi to me. In Ecuador, if you're driving about and there is a place to put your car where there's a parking attendant and you pay some money, we paid a dollar to park here, always pay. <laughs> Don't go looking for free parking, just pay for your parking. There's someone there to watch after your car. It's a good thing. I see another kitty. Let's see if this one will let me pet it. Hi, kitty. We are here at La Cascada de Peguche and the entrance fee is 50 cents per person. I'm loving that it's cloudy today because it looks extra moody and beautiful in here. So they have little swimming pools down here, but it's kind of cold this morning, so I don't think anybody's that interested in swimming right now. <laughs> I love waterfalls. The plan now is to go get into the water. The public side of the waterfall is under construction, so the other side is actually privately owned. We just had a very long chat with people in charge and we are allowed to go down here for five minutes. And I'm going to be sending them some good video clips so that they can use it for their website. And in exchange, they're letting us go here where no one is allowed to go because it's all under construction. We couldn't see anything that we were doing, so if there are any good clips, I will be amazed. That might be the most stressful, challenging thing I've ever shot on a trip. That was intense. So I will say, you can't do what we just did. <laughs> we got special permission. Okay. <laughs> Justin Trump's helping me. We got this, we got this. Okay, there we go. This is turning into a really funny day. Justin got eaten alive. Oh my gosh. I, I cannot even explain how proud of you I am. I've never seen you that assertive in my life. It was amazing. <laughs> we had to really, really, really negotiate to get in there. Okay, we're picking up lunch again at our favorite little lunch spot. It was delicious yesterday, so I am very happy to have a repeat performance of last night's lunch. Ooh, buddy, I'm so excited for food. I could have this every day for the rest of my life. All right, we just had lunch and a nap and we're gonna go hiking now. You can kind of see it back here. These two little bumps, we're, go we're going over there. Hopefully the weather stays good for that. And this is kind of like our usual family trip every time I come here. We always enjoy going up there because you can drive all the way to the lake and you can have a little coffee there so you don't have to hike if you don't want to. I am very impressed with all the derrumbes que ha habido. My goodness. I wish I was driving through that. I know that you Please. would. Yes, I'll get the video and you do <laughs> the dumb things. Welcome to Mohanda. We're gonna do a little hike now. And by little hike, I mean a big kind of intense hike. Uh, <laughs> we may not make it all the way to the top. Oh, okay. Just depends on time. Well, how many times have you done this hike? A lot of times. A lot of times. Yeah. So why are you standing here looking confused? Because <laughs> the trail is not as clear as it used to be. With the pandemic, a lot of people in Ecuador didn't really leave very much. So a lot of the trails have been unkept. We'll figure it out. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> This is the part where we start going straight up. So we've left Justin's parents down at the base and they're gonna have some coffee and relax. And we're gonna see if we can make it to the top. It's really not a bad hike. The altitude is the only thing that makes it a little harder to breathe and your heart's going faster if you're not used to it. But it's not bad. Where's Claire? He 
You're doing great. I have to stop like every 10 feet. That's okay. Fog is coming in. I'm slow, but every time I take a little break, I feel better. <laughs> Clear trips. I can do it. Ya llegaste, ya llegaste. The clouds have come in, and it's such a wild feeling to just be surrounded by white. It feels like you're on top of the world up here. Yeah. He's not a big heights person, he says, as he scoots out onto the edge of a cliff. <laughs> It is freezing up here. <laughs> it's so cold, my nose is running. <laughs> Gross. No, I'm okay. Oh my God. This is incredible. Look at that. Wow. Justin, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> my fingers feel like they're gonna fall off. We got our sunset. Oh my God. This is exactly why I wanted a nice day for this because of the drone. I knew it was going to be good. This weather is absolutely wild. That was one of my favorite flights we've ever done. That was crazy. It's not quite dark yet, but we've brought the headlamps out. We want to be able to see, and I really hope that Justin's parents aren't too worried about us because uh, we're kind of late coming down the mountain. Shout out to Peak Design for this amazing clip for my backpack. I couldn't hike without it. It's amazing. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. Oh, I fell. <laughs> it's officially dark enough that it's starting to get a little spooky, <laughs> but we're making a really good time. I'm really hoping that Justin's parents aren't too worried. We see a light. I'm sorry we're so late. Claire, how are your knees? My knees are Mine great. Are Justin Mine had to put on his knee pads. Yeah. You're like giving your knee shoes? This one over here. Y'all gonna have some? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's a little mouse. A little mouse? A little baby mouse right there. Oh my lads. It's so cute. <laughs> Bye baby. Have a nice night. Sorry to bug you. Well, we didn't make it all the way to the top of Fuya Fuya, but we were very, very close. And if Justin's happy, I'm happy. It was a beautiful hike. All right, we're back. What a good day. Today is the day that we leave the comfort and safety of Justin's parents' house and go out into the wilderness. So today we're traveling to Quito and we're going to wander around downtown Quito and see the city and then we're headed out into the jungle. I have managed to make quite a mess in my guest bedroom where I'm staying so we have to completely repack and uh, prepare to hit the road because we will not be coming back here. This is the last time I get to wake up to this view. I am on a mission to find some avocados. I need someone to rate my avocado choices. Maybe a little shiny still? But That's okay. That one's fine. Yeah, that one's perfect. Perfect. Okay. This one, maybe not. It could be. It still looks I feel like, like y'all are just being nice to me. Yeah, that one is fine. This uh -huh. one's fine. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I did okay on my first expedition. I still have much to learn. I approve of the amount of avocado that we eat here. We're having sandwiches. This lettuce is from the garden. Yesterday when we were waiting for permission to go into the waterfall, there were some mosquitoes. And I typically don't get bitten much, but uh, it's not the best look. It's so sad. I don't want to go. We were in the Plaza de Ponchos in Otavalo, and it's immediately obvious why it's called that because there are ponchos everywhere. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So we're gonna go shopping and get a blanket for my god sister. They have just a lot of handmade things here in Ecuador. Yeah. They do have a lot of things that are just imported from China. Uh, some of products. it's super authentic and artisan and some of it's not. <laughs> Regardless, you can find some really cool things here. As a kid, I would always walk around this city. So it's very familiar. nostalgic. So here in Ecuador, it is a bargaining culture. So you can bargain a little bit, bargain a little bit, and then that should be good enough. Like you shouldn't like try to get them down to the last dollar. Yeah. If you can afford it. Yeah. <laughs> ¿A cuánto nos va a dejar? ¿A seis dólares? Gris claro o el gris más oscurito. Ah, uh, gustaría los dos. Justin bought me a beautiful blanket from this market. I do not need another blanket, but everywhere I look, I want all the blankets. I want them all. I love that they all have two sides, so you can kind of decide on your color scheme for the day. Yeah, este también es hecho aquí. Sí, sí, sí. Aquí mm -hmm. en Peguche. From San Antonio. It's a town that only does uh, wood carvings. 
for generations and generations and generations. Usually Justin is the one spending all the money on the trips, but... He always does, well, I, don't, I, don't I was just here in December, so... Oh, okay. But you were thinking about buying a blanket. I was thinking of buying them just to have in the house. Does Justin need another one of these blankets? No. Are we excited he's getting another one of these blankets? Yes. Hi! <laughs> Near Kayambe, throughout this whole valley, is where a ton of the world's flowers are grown. And the barns actually protect the flowers from the equator sun, because the sun here is pretty intense. This is a bizcocho, and you can have it with uh, caramel or cheese. We're just going to try. Mm -hmm. They're basically just like mm. butter biscuits. Almost. Si le gusto. Mm -hmm. It's very crunchy. It's buttery. Like I can imagine you dipping this in just about anything. So the cheese that you would normally dip it in is called queso de hoja. It's like mozzarella, but it's also like a string cheese. I'm still learning, but you don't necessarily put the cheese on the cookie, but you eat the cheese and the cookie together. And it's very, very typical thing to do here. Here's the caramel sauce. Mm. We're gonna try, try dipping. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for our Avianca saga to continue. We are here at the airport to see what the heck is going on with our tickets and refunds and stuff. So hopefully we can actually talk to a human being. There's nobody from Avianca here so far. We looked it up and they had a flight at 2.30, so there should be people here from Avianca. What is it gonna take to get someone from Avianca to talk to us? Talk to my mom, but I'm thinking maybe tomorrow morning, first thing, we're here. Okay. I just called Avianca for the 90th time and actually got a person on the phone. And not only that, but that person gave me a usable answer about my flight. Basically, when Justin and I bought our ticket, we made a change to the ticket. We changed the date. And because we changed the date, it made my reservation number different. So when I said I would like a refund for this reservation number, they rejected it because that reservation number wasn't the right reservation number. Now, they didn't send me a confirmation email, they didn't tell me any of this via email or on the website, but the guy was able to tell me and he says that my ticket is still good to go and I can use it. So, we're gonna trust him and I'm gonna show up for my flight and hopefully it's uh, good. All right, up here on the top of the hill is Quito. There's scrapes all along the side of this parking garage because it's a tiny. You're a ninja. We are good in the neighborhood. Here, I'm gonna park right there. Let's go. What's the actual name of this? Basilica? La Basilica. La Basilica. That's it. Just. <laughs> The Basilica. We got here just in time to go up into the Basilica. It's a separate ticket to actually climb up to the top, but I'm really excited we got here in time for this. So many stairs, so many stairs. There's all kinds of places you can go in here. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'd highly recommend getting the ticket to go up because there's many different towers that you can go up. The stairs on this side are completely vertical. This is terrifying. <sighs> <Oops>. <laughs> Over a hundred years. We are at La Plaza Grande. I speak Spanish. We're at La Plaza Grande, and uh, over here is their White House where the governor lives. President? The White House where the president lives, because that's where presidents live in. White houses. <laughs> this is La Compañía. This is La Compañía. Oh, okay. This church is famous for being 
completely gold on the inside. We didn't think we'd be able to see in, but the doors are open, so you can see a little peek. There is a wedding happening in there right now, so they're gonna be leaving in this adorable little car soon. Quite an eloquent and fancy place to get married, I think. This is La Plaza San Francisco. La Plaza San Francisco, not La Plaza de San Francisco. San Francisco. I guess it could be either way. I have to check with my mom. Oh, <laughs> our tour guide needs to confirm. Plaza San Francisco. It would be the same meaning. It would be the same thing. <laughs> Who married a Victoria's Secret model here? I think the vice president's son. The vice really president's son. We are in search of dinner, and this place is stunning. Oh, wow. This soup is called Locro, and it's like a cheesy potato soup. That's really good. That has no business being that good. Listen, we need to talk about that meal. <laughs> Justin and I wanted to split the soup and the main course, so we asked them to split it for us. It was huge. Each of us got a piece of meat and an egg. I can't imagine the actual meal being double that size, but we got the bill and <laughs> they only charged us for one soup and one main course. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna explode. That was incredible and very reasonably priced. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> I got so sick last night. Guess who threw up again? Necesito un hospital. 